options for people with depression are still limited. Uh, drugs can take more than a month to work. And electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, uh, the most effective proven treatment we have for depression, can cause memory loss in some people. In recent years, overseas studies have found that ketamine has dramatic antidepressant effects. Ketamine is uh, known as a recreational drug of abuse, but it's also used typically in anesthesia and in pain management. The study showed when ketamine was given intravenously in very small doses under medically controlled conditions, it caused recovery from depression in 70% of people within a day. In many people these effects quickly wore off, but some remained free of depression for weeks or even months. These are really exciting findings, but a significant knowledge gap still remains. We don't know the best route and method of administering ketamine, and the dose and antidepressant response relationship. Rapid relapse after initial treatment response is still a major limitation. Our trial at the University of New South Wales, based at the Wesley Hospital in Cogra, will look at the mechanisms by which ketamine works, the most effective doses to use, and how to achieve a lasting response. Our trial will also test a more practical and novel fast infusion approach. So previous studies gave the treatment over 40 minutes. It's expected that UNSW research into treatments for depression will see similar breakthroughs on a number of fronts. We are also researching new forms of brain stimulation, which are showing great promise for people for whom psychological therapies and medications have not worked. We are particularly interested in transcranial direct current stimulation, TDCS. TDCS uses tiny currents, about 1 400th the current strength used in ECT, it is given for 20 minutes a day, every weekday over a few weeks. Unlike ECT, there's no anaesthetic uh, and no seizure. People are awake all the time. We found it was significantly better than a placebo after three weeks, and after six weeks, about half of the participants were substantially improved. And another form of treatment, random noise stimulation, is also showing great potential. We are advancing all the time in our understanding of depression. We are hoping to continue our research and yes, I think there was cause for optimism.